Hello. Today we'll discuss perfect substitutes utility. To start, let's look at a graph. On the x-axis, I'll place the number of units of good x we purchase, and on the y-axis, the number of units of good y. Each utility function will be a diagonal line which touches both axes, like so. In order to find the utility maximizing point, we must subject these utility curves to a budget constraint. Let's look at the case where our budget constraint is steeper than our utility curves in terms of slope. That would look something like this. In that event, the highest possible utility we can receive would be at this point on the y-axis. That means we purchase all of good y and none of good x. On the flip side, let's look at the case where our budget constraint has a flatter slope than the utility curves. That would look something like this instead. In that event, the highest possible utility curve we hit hits at the x-axis, meaning we purchase all of good x and none of good y. Finally, in the event that our slope of our budget constraint is the same as the slope of the utility curve, as is the case with this pink line, any point along the line is a utility maximizing point. Let's take a look at this specific problem. In this case, we have a utility curve which subjects to both good X or apples and good Y or oranges. We're also given information about the pricing of these goods. Apples cost $1, so do oranges, and we have a total income of $5 to spend on both goods. In order to compare these points to figure out if we should purchase all apples or all oranges, we should take the slope of our utility curves. As we've learned before, the slope of the utility curve is our marginal rate of substitution. Remember again, how we find the marginal rate of substitution is by taking the marginal utility of good x and placing it over the marginal utility of good y. The partial derivative with respect to good x of this utility function would be 1. That's our marginal utility of good x. Likewise, the partial derivative with respect to good y is 2. Hence, our marginal utility of good y is 2. This means our marginal rate of substitution between apples and oranges is 1 half. We must also figure out the slope of our budget constraint. The slope of our budget constraint is our price ratio, the price of good x over the price of good y, or p1 over p2. In this case, apples cost $1, so do oranges, so we get 1 over 1. That means our price ratio is 1. To compare, let's take a look at which is greater our marginal rate of substitution, or our price ratio. As we see, the MRS is 1 half, the price ratio is 1, so our price ratio is greater than our marginal rate of substitution. That case is denoted by the red line on our graph. This means we purchase all of good Y and none of good X. So we purchase all oranges with our income. To look at the math, let's build out our budget constraint. Our budget constraint is represented by px times x plus py times y equals our income. The price of good x or apples is $1. The price of good Y or oranges is also $1. And our income is $5. So X plus Y equals 5. Since we know we buy all oranges and no apples, we will say 0 plus Y equals 5. So Y equals 5. 
This means we buy zero apples and five oranges optimally.